understanding time zones, let's make the globe rotate again from west to east. That is how our planet spins around its axis, making a full turn every 24 hours. A full turn is 360 degrees, so this means 15 degrees per hour. 15 SCX 24 360. Let us now mark the meridians of longitude every 15 degrees. Moving eastward from the prime meridian, we get 0 degrees, 15 degree E, 30 degree E, 45 degree E, and so on every 15 degrees up to 180 degree E. It is the same as adding one hour of local time. With each meridian, if it is 12 p.m. or noon at Greenwich, it I is 1 p.m. local time at 15 degree E, 2 p.m. at 30 degree E, and so on. But going to westward, it is the other way round, 11 a.m. local time at 15 degree W, 10 a.m. at 30 degree W, etc. Let's explore. Two friends, one sitting in Porbanda, Gujarat, and the other in Tinsukia, Assam, are speaking on the phone late afternoon. The latter remarks that the sun has set in Assam and it's now dark. The former is surprised and says, but it's still full, daylight here, explain why. And as a class activity calculate the difference in local time between those two cities. Hint for, now consider the difference in longitude between Porbanda and Tinsukia to be 30 degrees. Later, you can find out the precise value. The same method can be used to calculate the local time of any place on the Earth. But it would not be convenient. Let's explore. Return to the two friends sitting in Gujarat and Assam. Use this example to explain the difference between local time and standard time dot. All these standard times are organized in time zones, which too broadly follow the zones of 15 degrees in the graph, fig 1.7. But let us consider the world map below, fig 1.8. We can see that the lines dividing the time zones are not fully straight. This is because they have to respect each country's standard time, and therefore tend to follow international borders. The Xu numbers written inside some countries are the numbers of hours to be added to GMT to get their standard times if they have a, a positive sign or subtracted from GMT if they have a negative sign dot similarly comma the globe in fig E. 1.9 comma centered on India shows times with respect to GMT for a few countries. Finally, while the prime meridian was fixed at Greenwich, the opposite line at approximately 180 degrees longitude is called the International Date Line. As you can see on the map, the plus 12 and the 12 time zones touch each other at this line. If you cross it by ship or plane, you need to change the date in your watch. If you cross it traveling eastward, you subtract a day, say from Monday dry to Sunday. If you cross it traveling westward, you add a day. From Sunday to Monday. We said that the international date line is approximately at 180 degrees longitude as it deviates in places to avoid dividing some countries into two different days. Before we move on, 